our Citrix came. Let's get it ready to take in the house. Okay, I think that should do it. It's a quarantine Stitch Fix Day! About you guys but I have two things going on over here during quarantine number one lots of mindless eating handful of this a handful of that anybody know what I'm talking about plus in general just a lot of days worth of making some bad choices and number two when I do get out to the grocery store which is really not happening that often let's just say I'm looking at that produce a little bit differently than I used to I'm thinking, okay, who else has probably touched that? And has anybody sneezed or coughed near this produce in the time that it's been sitting here? These are the things that are going through my mind. Yeah, maybe I'm being a little bit paranoid, but you have to admit these are valid concerns. So I just started thinking about ways that I could kind of stop these bad food choices from going on every day and a way that I could get more fruit and vegetables in my diet without having to worry about the fresh produce situation. And then this little baby came in the mail. Boom, problem solved. With this, I get all of my green goodness into my diet without having to worry about what that produce has seen. And all I do is add frozen fruit to this to sweeten it up a bit, and it's awesome. An instant healthy snack. Take a look at the ingredients that are in here. You're gonna be surprised. Now, to be 100% honest, Teamy Blend did send this to me to review, but this is exactly the thing I needed right now. So I was more than happy to review it. They also sent me this awesome tumbler that I showed you earlier. This is great. This is for, you could use this really for tea or for smoothies or water. And it, what I love the most about this is that your inside comes out, so it's insulated. It's got that little container at the bottom for you to put in your, maybe your vitamins or your, your little flavored water powder or loose leaf tea can go in the bottom of this to make another cup while you're out on the go. Great quality cup to take with you on the go. If you guys are interested in trying this as well, I will leave the link and all the information about it and the tumbler down in my description box. And if you use that link, that will get you 20% off your order. So are you guys now ready to get to this Stitch Fix try-on? I'll see you there. As you can tell, I'm here with my beautiful daughter again, and we both have a Stitch Fix today. So you guys are gonna have a double try-on to look forward to. This was Julia's first time trying Stitch Fix, and we can't wait to show you what we both got. 
We'll be right back. So these are our first two outfits. So I guess I'll go first and um, show you guys. So I got these jeans in the box and I think that for my preference, there are just way too many holes, but they do fit really nicely. Yeah, so they are a great fit. I do really like the rolled cuff at the bottom, but I just think there's way too many holes just for daily wear. And then this top I also got and I really like the material, it's very soft, um, but it's just not my style. I filled out like all the style quizzes and I really thought I gave them a good idea of my style, but I feel like all the pieces in my box just do not fit with my personality, unfortunately. But I understand it's my first box, so I'm gonna try it again, but as you guys will see later with the video, you'll get a better idea of what I mean. Okay, so yes, you already do have a pair of jeans that are kind of have a lot of holes in it like yeah. that. I'm kind of debating like just throwing them out because I feel like a lot of holes are kind of going out of style now. Okay, and um, show them this on the top. That's kind of a cool detail and then the detail on the pockets in the front. Yeah, and I'm not, gonna... I'm not saying like there's anything wrong with this, t this outfit or this top. It's just like it's not my style. It's yeah. more just like mature, older. Yeah, and you know what? This is your first time trying Stitch Fix, so it's a little hard to have a stylist get exactly what your style is your first time. They don't know you, and so they're just trying to do their best to pick things that they think you could like. So, and sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. So, anyway, okay, but this is cute. I do like this, mm -hmm. and I don't really no normally like roll tab sleeves, but this actually detail is kind of cute. So, okay, my first two pieces, I have got, of course, a white pair of jeans here. We'll start with those. And the interesting thing about these jeans are the bottom. So it's got this step bottom with like a little slit on each side as well. So, and it's kind of a raw edge. Um, so that's kind of a neat detail. They do fit really well. But I do have a pair of white jeans that I actually really like. So um, while these are kind of cute, you know, for me, I don't think that I would keep these. Um, because I already have the white pair of jeans. So this top is the next item and this is kind of cute. I do like how it goes off the shoulder like that. I like this little, um, what do they call it? Eyelet detail with this little ruffle sleeve. It's really cute. Love the color. I think it's really cool for summer. Same length front to back. And you could also wear this up on your sli on your shoulders as well. So it could look like that. So yeah, I wanna see what the other tops look like on that I got. So you ready to go on to the next outfit? Yep. Sounds All right, good. we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back with tops number two. And so you all know I like this cheetah print or this leopard print and I like the gray and white combination. I always have, but the thing is, it is too clingy and you can kind of see through, you can kind of see the top line of my pants and here's where the shirt comes down here. So this much you can see through and then it really accentuates all the jelly rolls going on over here and I don't like that. But this would be a cute top if you're in good shape, you don't have any jelly rolls hanging over your pants, it would be a good top. And look at how cute the detail was in the back with the little bow. So this, I'm telling you what, if I looked better right now, I would keep this top, but not with this going on right here. All right, so this is my next top, and I'll come a little closer to show you guys. Again, this is like a really cute top, but it's just not my style. In my profile, I said that I was a college student looking for comfy but cute clothes. Again, just not my style, but nothing wrong with the top. I like the color. I think that green, the sage green is really pretty with the white. I like the twist. 
And that's cute too, but I get that it's not your style, so. Okay. All right, are you ready to move on? Yep, ready. Let's move on. All right, so these are our next two pieces. And so I'll just give you guys a close-up of this one. I like this top a lot better than the other ones so far. Um, I will have to say that all of these pieces have fit very well, so that is a plus. So I do like the buttons down in the front, and I like the pattern. Um, I'm just not a huge fan of the tie, and I'm not a fan of the cut either. I probably um, would have liked it if it was like short sleeve or something, just because like you can't really wear like a regular bra with this, so that's kind of a deal breaker for me, so. Uh, but I do like the color, and it fits really well. And yeah, this is pretty soft actually yeah. too. That's nice too. It does look cute on you. Yeah, it's just not, I just again, I don't know, it's just not really my style. I do like the color too. Yeah. Yeah. But on the quizzes, like it was showing some some pieces that really were my style. Um, and so like as, I, as the days went on, I took more quizzes, I kind of like found my style. So maybe in the next box that will work and maybe they didn't get those quizzes in time or something. But yeah, you'll just have to try again and see how it goes. Mm -hmm. All right, so here is my third top, well tank top. And actually, I kind of like this. I think it's kind of cute, the color combination with the white and the blues. It is a little bit halterish um, up at the top, so you would definitely need to wear a strapless bra because, well, I guess you don't see them too badly, but you're gonna see them here. You're gonna see your bra straps here. So uh, I do like the way it fits. It's a good length under arm, and it's, it's more like a linen type material. The only issue that I'm wondering about is it's kind of tight right here. This seems more flowy to me and then you get here, there is no elastic. It just comes a lot tighter right in the hip area. So when you move around, you're gonna get this kind of bunching here. So I gotta kind of wear it a little bit, kind of decide what I think about how it lays um, while I'm moving. So there you go, you guys can kind of get a close up of the pattern. It's really a pretty pattern. So, all right, let's get to the next. We're next ready time. for our next items. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back with our last Stitch Fix items. So, I'll go first this time, I guess. Now, I like this cami. This is a really nice black cami. It's got this cute little bow right in the center. And of course, strapless bra. Uh, so, and I do like how the length is under the arms. It is a little low in the back, but with a strapless bra, you're not gonna see that either. And it's a really good quality cami. It's got two layers. It's got this under layer here and like a, an upper a sheer layer. So I do like that. I like that it's kind of flowy throughout, but not overly flowy. And I think this would look really cute with some jeans in the summer or jean shorts even. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is, it's really cute. So, okay. All right, so the last piece I just put over the top that I was wearing in the last clip. Um, so this is kind of like a sweater, long sleeve. There's like a pocket detail right here. And the back is really cute as well. I just like how it lays. And everything has fit very well for this video. So I do like this. I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping it just because I don't really have a need for it. But um, it is pretty cute overall. And the color is kind of fun. It breaks up, you, you know, just wearing all like the neutrals and stuff like that. So it's kind of nice and bright. Yeah, and it would be a nice color to wear over something in the fall or even in the spring over a top just because yeah. you'll need that extra little, you know, layer. Okay, and we'll be right back to let you know if there's anything that we're debating about keeping. So what did you think? I know you weren't like extremely happy about your first fix, but you know, tell them what you were kind of thinking about your first fix. So I was just a little disappointed by this stitch fix just because I've heard so many great things from my mom and I just, none of it really 
came about for me. But I'm on the app right now, kind of going through the items and taking more quizzes. And I have hope for like another box because I'm like pinning different outfit ideas yeah. to my board and trying to give my stylist more information. So um, it was a really easy decision for me to not keep anything today just because like it's not my <laughs> style. I don't need any of that. And I just feel like this box almost was like mistakenly sent to me and was supposed to be given to someone else. Like I hate to be negative, but I'm giving you my honest opinion and not saying that these pieces would not be great for someone else. It's just not my style. So I hope you guys understand. It happens. I mean, it happens to me too. We all get boxes sometimes where none of it is really our style or we get it and the fit is right or whatever. So I just hate that it was her first box, but, but I'm not going to give up. So just because, you know, she speaks so highly of it and I feel like the first one might always be kind of like a miss. Dep yeah. I mean, just depending. Yeah. So. so she'll try it again. All right. So let's finish on a positive note. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for me, the biggest thing that I'm um, debating about that I kind of, I, I really think is going to be a keeper, but I want to hear what you guys have to say too, is this black cami. And I don't think that you guys got to see the really cute tie detail in the front there. And then the straps are adjustable in the back. So that's kind of good too. But I really think it was cute. It fit well. I love the quality of it. I thought the quality was great. And for $38, that's not too bad for the quality of this. Mm -hmm. So I'm really happy with this one. And But let me know what you guys thought of it. If you hated it, let me know before I buy it. So anyways, so while that is all we have for you today, that is not all I have for you coming up. My next video is going to be a very exciting one. I'm really looking forward to sharing it with you. It is going to be unboxing and comparing between eight to 10 subscription boxes. And so it's gonna be an exciting video, loads of information about these different boxes. Most of them are new to my channel. So I can't wait to share that with you. And hopefully you're gonna see a box in there that you may wanna try that's something new. So until I see you guys next time, I hope that you're having a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bing bong. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm back real quick. I finished that whole video and forgot to actually introduce myself. I'm Angela, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. I usually do all kinds of unboxing videos having to do with fashion, beauty, and wellness with some other things sprinkled in. If you guys are interested in trying Stitch Fix for yourself, I will leave all the information below about them in my description box. That way you can check them out for yourselves and see if it's something that you might wanna try. And also, if you're interested, don't forget to check out Teamy Blend and their awesome superfood powder mix that they have. I will also leave that link in my description box as well. Okay, now let's get back to the video.